everyone welcome to my unboxing of the wings concept book now i have been like sitting here for the last like 15 minutes 20 minutes at least trying to get this camera set up to catch everything <laughs> so i don't think this entire book is going to fit in the frame because i can't i don't know i can't get the camera far enough away this is actually a new camera it's a dslr and I only have a small table tripod for it, and I've put it on a book to get it up higher. I've adjusted it 50 billion times, and I still can't get the entire thing because it's so massive. This thing is huge. It is so huge. It is so heavy. And yeah, so I think this is probably the best is that it's going to get. So hopefully um, you can still see. So I'm going to have to sit here on the floor and try to flip through this and hope that it is caught on camera and hope that it, you know, it's a better camera and it has a bigger lens so I hope that it catches everything without issue. So I have to look up behind it like this in order to see what it's capturing on film. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox this. I will try my best to keep it on the screen but I can't actually see the screen because I'm in the floor beside this book. So anyway. This was an entire ordeal, me trying to get this from the post office. I finally got it yesterday, even though yesterday was Saturday. It arrived on Wednesday. I didn't get it until yesterday <sighs> because the post office can't ever do anything right here for some reason. Anyway, this book is giant. Um, <laughs> I've looked through it a little bit, but not in detail. So I'm just going to flip through it fairly quickly because it is so huge. And um, if there's anything you want to see better hopefully you can just pause or play the video more slowly but yeah anyway so this thing is massive um, this is the outer shell so it does come in this protective case um, which I will try to get on screen this is even on screen there we go as much as I can there's the uh, official I hope this is in focus <laughs> can't see. Also, like I said, this is a new camera. It's a DSLR. I have no clue how to work it. I'm completely lost. Anyway, here we go. This is like a magnetic closure, so it is a really nice case. Um, it will keep it nice and protected. And over here on the side, there's this little pocket thing, which I actually haven't opened yet because it has the sticker on it that I didn't really want to peel off, but we're going to have to because otherwise you can't open it. Oh no, there's really no way to peel this sticker off without messing it up. So, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. But in here are two smaller size, they're not really posters. They're too small to be posters. Well, I guess they're mini posters. I really hope this is focusing, but this is like the group shot from the start of the Blood, Sweat, Tears music video, and then this one is from the You Never Walk Alone. So these are like cardstock um, paper, so they're thicker. So those come in there. And now this isn't gonna stick <laughs> ever again, so I'm gonna put tape on it or something. But um, each of these concept books comes with a, I think they call it a lenticular card. Um, I don't know if this is going to focus because this actually moves. So they all have two pictures on them that move. That's kind of blurry, sorry about that. Um, and that's the back of those. So that's pretty cool. And then getting into the actual book. It's this ginormous thing. There's a ribbon here for you to help pull it out because it's so huge. I'm actually going to move this box out of the way. And yeah, you can see that on screen, I guess. Hopefully this is good. Let's go ahead and start. I will try to keep this as lined up as possible. And we're just going to get through it. So this does actually have a bookmark. There's like a little bookmark here. So you can mark your place if you want. So, missed page. Um, also, this book is only in Korean. All of the writing 
um, it's not very clear right there. Don't know if I can get it to focus better, but yeah, it's probably not going to focus any better than that. But anyway, it is all in Korean. There is no English um, translation like a lot of their, my cat just ran by in the background. Um, there's no English translation, so that's something to be aware of if you care about that at all. Like I know some of the other photo books have English translations. Sometimes they have Japanese translations or Chinese translations too. This one does not. It's all in Korean except for certain things like this that are already in English, you know, to start with, but everything else is in Korean. Um, I have not read it yet, <laughs> but I told myself I was going to have to read it and practice translating it if I'm going to justify spending this much money on a book. So I will eventually read it and translate it and everything. So here we have a timeline. So this goes through like from August 2016 all the way to 2017, February 23rd, which was come back stage for You Never Walk Alone on him countdown. I spelled February wrong. <laughs> I misspelled February. That's okay. So this starts the, I guess, you know, this is the conceptualization of the entire concept so you know you've got like explanations here and sort of I guess like storyboarding kind of things and you know the logo all that and other storyboarding which I'm really interested to read this I just know if I sat here and tried to read it on camera it would take forever and a day so we're not gonna do that <laughs> but this is each of the little short films and storyboarding for that which I think that's really cool second part moves into the actual short films. So it is a lot of photography from the short films and there's usually like something written over here like this is written in English you can't I'm pointing at it and you can't even see it. There's a passage over here written in English that's from the novel, um, the Damien novel. So I really hope you can see this. <laughs> I really I don't know how else to do this though. The book is just too huge. That's like the only thing. It's just too big to get on camera. So, don't know how best to do this. Okay, change in tactics here. I figured maybe it would be easier for me to just hold the camera <laughs> and flip through it that way. So, I'm sorry um, for the unsteadiness here. But I think you'll be able to see, hopefully see more of it if I can kind of hold it. We will try this. I think you'll see more that way. So this goes through each of the short films and it has their little Damien quote down there. So it's a concept book, but it's mainly like, it's mainly a photo book, you know, so I, it makes me wonder, are they not going to do the, what is it called? I don't want to crease this, but I guess I'm going to have to. Um, it makes me wonder, are they? did they do this because it was this big, you know, concept thing and they could really put something together like this, which is really cool, but, you know, normally they do the now releases, which are photo books yearly, and I think, you know, that if that was going to come out this year, I feel like it would have already, not necessarily come out, but it would have at least been announced. So... This was announced and came out really quickly, and now we have the 2016 Memories giant DVD pack thing that's coming out, so I don't know. I think that the Now series might not be continued anymore. That's just my speculation, obviously, but I feel like that might be a thing of the past now, and the Summer Package might also be a thing of the past, um, because we have things like Bon Voyage now. I don't know. We shall see. And, like crease every few seconds because it is such a huge book. This is like the size of an encyclopedia no lie. It's basically what it is. They could totally release a set of encyclopedia- wait I don't want to give big hit the idea but <laughs> they could totally release a set of encyclopedias like about everything BTS. All of the the history of until present day. <laughs> So 
then it moves into, oh no, I creased it too much. Ah, I hate when that happens. Moves into comeback trailer. So that first part, I'm mean, second part was short films. Part three is the comeback trailers. And then photography. So for the, I assume for the album jacket, I guess. Again, I'm not gonna, not right now, later. <laughs> I will make that my homework to translate. Yeah, I'm sorry if I go like super fast through some of this. It's just such a, like look how much is left. I don't want the video to end up being like an hour long. <laughs> Then we move into title music and dance for Blood, Sweat, and Tears. So this is, I guess, like some more storyboarding over here for the music video. Glare to go away on the darkest photos. Scene by scene, so this is like, there's scene stills from the music video and then there's like explanations down here in Korean and like I said I haven't read any of these so I have no clue um, what they say but I will go back and read those later. Um, that's the main reason I wanted the book is because of the, the text. This part is called style so it's just kind of laying out the style for each member for not um, the music video or performance oh music video photography short film that's cool and 
and then interviews. This is like, if it'll focus, this is like the only part in English. Can you see that? <laughs> So these pages are just the interviews, which I'm not gonna linger on because it's like handwritten lyrics for their solos. I'm gonna focus them off again. Let's get the page I say it. I think the handwriting for the lyrics is cool because they did it for each of their solo songs. And then it moves into first stage, so this was the first live. bit faster. I've got like 10 minutes left on my memory card. And these pages are like glossy and they're actually perforated like right here. So you could rip this entire thing out on the perforation here and like hang it up if you wanted to. Like I don't want to do that but they're like little photo sets that you can pull out. And then Wings Torrance Hole. Oh. So this is a big giant tour. Well, that's from a VCR. Which, if you haven't seen that VCR, by the way, the VCR they showed on the tours, like, Google it. I'm sure somebody filmed it. Um, it was really cool, though. I really liked it. And that is the end. It 
there. So yeah, there you go. Um, that is the entire concept book, which now mine won't really close because I did the, uh, you know, creasing of the pages a little bit. So it's okay though. It's, it's heavy enough. It'll bounce back. So yeah, um, it's really giant. It's really cool though. Um, I do definitely like it. I love photography and I love the like concepts in K-pop in general. Like that's one reason why I like K-pop, I guess, is because of the whole concept thing. Um, so I thought this was really cool, but yeah, it is pretty expensive. I have seen some group orders, people getting them for around, I don't know, 50 to 70 dollars, I think, but maybe not 50. Maybe that's like the price of the book before you pay shipping. I don't know, but I actually ordered mine through ktownforyou.com, and I think the book was like 45, 48, something like that before shipping but then shipping was at least I don't know 25 I feel like I paid about 70 something for it um and that's when I chose just the regular shipping because in my experience K-Town for you um even if you do like the regular shippings and don't do EMS shipping it still gets to me within a week and a half after it ships out like total including weekends and everything it takes about a week and a half sometimes a tiny bit longer but usually a week and a half and then I got an email saying it was too heavy for the regular uh, post options so it had to be EMS which means I had to pay an extra $27 on top of what I'd already paid so it ended up being closer to right around $100 and <laughs> if I had known that I would have just you know joined a group order or something I just I don't know I don't like to join group orders unless I absolutely have to because the shipping takes so much longer usually but um yeah so I had to pay more for it but I'm not I mean it's fine I know to you know shop around a little bit in the future but I am glad that I got it fairly quickly it took it actually got here like I said on Wednesday it took a week and a half still even though it was EMS shipping so I'm like why did I pay like 60 bucks to ship this and it still took a week and a half but my main problem was with the post office because they didn't they delivered it on Wednesday I wasn't here so I couldn't sign for it so I did the little thing where I signed the slip and left it and filed for redelivery and they never brought it back and it was just sitting at the post office I picked it up on Saturday and I'm like did I do something wrong and they're like no you did it right I'm like oh okay that's all you're gonna say about it well wasn't my fault it was somebody here who did something wrong so you know I don't like our local post office unfortunately but it got here safe and sound. There's no damages on it whatsoever. It was packaged in bubble wrap in the box that it was in. And like I said, it is really heavy, really big. So I'm glad that it survived shipping. Um, because I did see some photos of other people's books and they were damaged. And some of them got them from various websites and some of them got them from K-Town for You. And so I started to worry if I was going to be all messed up because... I saw one girl's and it was really bent, like the entire book was bent and there's like no refunds on it or anything. So yeah, be careful where you buy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for this one and I hope that this video comes out well on the new camera. Thank you for watching.